Hey guys, well, I asked and you answered and you wanted me to play Mudrunner VR. So we are in the meta exclusive VR version of the Mudrunner game. This is a slightly less, well, okay, it's a lot <laughs> less detailed than the PC version, but I did, I did get a little bit of a chance to practice and see what they had to offer. It's a little bit of fun and it's got almost a roguelite kind of set up with uh, by, by uh, automatically generating uh, jobs for you. So we'll see how long it takes for that to get repetitive. So today we're in Mud Runner and we're in the garage. And I thought maybe I could go in and do one of the, uh, the generated jobs for you guys. Okay, so I'm gonna go into free play because the story, I'm just doing the, the tutorial section of the story. So let's do a free play. Uh, yes. Okay, so I think we have to pick... Okay, so you get to pick your vehicle in your each location. And okay, so that's shallow water, flood, and town. Detour. The village is really hard to drive through. Uh, <laughs> looks like a, an overnight one, the sawmill. Hmm. This has a, looks like this has a winch. This is a gas and this needs some work. That's a good question. Okay, so let's try the sawmill. Let's see what happens here. I'm not really sure what we're doing. Okay, so here we are. I can turn around and the woods out here. Oh, look at that. That's a winch spot looks like. All right, so I'm not sure what the objective is. So I'll have to figure that out. Looks like maybe this guy's stuck. Oops, I don't want to go in yet. Let's see, what do we got over here? And they don't have smooth uh, movement yet. Okay, so that's the truck. Uh, it was a truck before it was unloaded. <laughs> oh, okay, and I guess I can't. Uh. <laughs> okay. All right, so I, I don't know if I need that truck or not. Let's see if the car is drivable, or the this truck is drivable and see what's going on here. Okay, so let's see what the email is. Oh, okay, so that was a postcard. So we need to collect a few more, okay. And, all right, let's see, that's good. And, that is the differential, I think. Okay, so just automatic on this one. Okay, let's, uh, there we go. Now let's see. So let's go out the road and uh, this is a very janky system. Like I, I appreciate that they're trying to use diegetic style, but it's not very good. Uh, yeah, exactly. So, if I... <laughs> it's pretty bad. There we go. Actually, let's go out and go to the right, and then go to the right. It looks like there's a postcard there. So, we'll go out to the right and go to the right. I don't need a checkpoint. All right. And back. Okay, let's do this. Did I turn it on? There we go. All right. What do we need here? Yeah, okay, so we're just collecting postcards, apparently. I have the rear diff turned off. Nice. Whoa. <laughs> and let's take a moment. Oh, I can't exactly see out. Oh, it doesn't let me see out. Interesting, okay. All right, let's keep going. We're gonna hit this and then I guess a little hairpin. Doesn't feel like I need the diff yet. I actually was very interested in playing this game when it was a Steam game, but I never got the... I never figured out how to make it work in VR, which I don't think most people can. Vortex might be an option, but... I'm not a big fan of Vortex for, I don't know, just don't. 
just not usually into it. Okay, let's uh let's try it with the differential on. Oh wow, wow. Okay, we're going real fast now. Let's slow down a little bit. I don't think we need it like that. Okay. So I think there is a postcard here. Let's go ahead and uh put the parking brake on. Hurt myself. There we go. Oh there it is. Okay. Cool. Well, this isn't exactly uh getting things out of the out of the mud, but I don't think there's any way to actually collect them, so let's hope that's two out of five. Alright. So it's semi open world. It's not exactly like open world like Mud Runners is. Okay, good. It does have it does have the two. Let's see here. So let's back up a little bit and yeah, we'll back up a little bit. Well, American Truck Simulator is fun. This is uh, less obvious, so I'm basically backing up blind because there's no back window. Here we go. Here we go. Nice, nice, nice. Come on, come on. There we go. It does use your controllers. Um, I watched Beardo Benjo do it first, and he suggested doing the throttle on your offhand rather than your right hand, which is typical, uh, simply because you have to do a lot of grabbing and touching over here. So it does make sense. I think it's up there. Should we get the postcard then, Frank Cross? That's a good question. Let's, uh... Where's my gas? Gas is full. Alright, let's see. It's, yeah, that's it over there. We'll cross this by hand. Very pretty. All right, anything I need to be looking out for? That's well, pretty. I mean, that's quest graphics, but it's pretty. All right, let's, uh, yeah, so let's cross the river. I'm not sure which one's gonna be the better choice here. Looks like that one might be in the river. So let's do that one next. Okay, let's do that one next. Okay, we're, Go slow. We need to be on these big boards, I think. Now, I do like using my stem cockpit for American Truck Simulator. Unfortunately, this is not a PC game, so I'm not able to use a connected PC. I can't even I can't even mirror it in. Uh, I guess we'll go this way. I can't even mirror it on my computer to record there, so we're recording in the headset. And I'm using my phone to record me uh, from from me. Then I'll have to put them together. I don't know how open world this is. Let's find out. There we go. Let's see. Is this an open world? Uh, actual? Open? No. No. You can't do anything. Unfortunately. And I just yeah, just hit the thing. So hopefully I didn't mess that up. All right. So yeah, it's pretty limited. All right, where are we going? We're going left. Uh, I like the parallax mirrors. That's uh, something that most games fail to do. All right, let's uh, slip, stick on the uh, rear differential there. Go through the mud bog in. Let's hope we make it. Might need to winch myself out of here. I think this is an amphibious vehicle. I haven't driven one yet. I've only driven a like, little shit box. So he's not wanting to turn, that's for sure. <laughs> Doesn't want to turn at all. There we go. I'm allowed to get out in the water. Let's find out though. See if I can get out in the water. Puts me up there. Okay, cool. 
Uh, you know, I failed to actually look to where this was in the map. Probably should have done that. It's not letting me go anywhere. Alright, I'll go check the map real quick. So I'm going to the map or something. Let's take a look at the map here. Okay, it's on the wrong side. Uh, okay, so... Oh, is my parking brake on? Let's go down the river a little more. <laughs> I have it set to realistic. Oh, so it's on that side of the river. I don't know what happened. Okay, well, I'll just back up and go into the road then. Uh, okay. Got it set to the most. Well, it's not turning like it's the most, but... I, oh, I know why. It's because the differential's on. It doesn't want to turn well. Um, I've got it set to the most realistic physics that it offers. I mean, God knows what that means, but... Like, as far as Meta's concerned. Alright, so... Let's see. Come on, thank you. So it says it should be right here. So let's break on. Okay. And let's go look for it. Where are you? Oh, there it is. Okay. I uh, might have just parked myself in the way. There it is. Beautiful picture. I would very much appreciate some smooth locomotion. Very much. So I think it's probably, since I don't know what's on that side of the map, probably best to do a hard left. Oh, that's going to be fun. Probably have to turn around. And uh, come back the way I came. So hard left. And then, yes, I'm going back here. So let's see what we can do. Right. Probably gonna. Oh. Oh. Okay, I can't go that way. I either have to come back the way I came. That's interesting. Okay. Looks like those rocks are blocking me, so I'm not allowed to go that way. There we go. Alright, so back through the river we go. So, and then we're going to take the hard right as soon as we get at the end of the river there. Ooh. So physics are fun. Oh, excuse me. Physics are fun. So we're going to take a right. Here we go. Out, out of the water. And another. No, we need to go left and then right. So, I guess I got the dip on. It's just going to use a lot more gas, make it uh, harder to turn. Yeah, very hard to turn. There we go. Okay, might as well just leave the windshield wipers on. Okay, our gas. I absolutely love the parallax mirrors. That's that is 
but it's essential for a driving game in my opinion. Say okay. We're just here for the postcards. Very particular on how you do things. There we go. Ready. Uh, we get gas? That's come far away, isn't it? get gas there. I can take the gas all the way over. Oh, well, nice. Yeah, might as well. Okay. Got to get back, I guess. I guess it takes itself back. Okay. Very nice. About a full tank? I do. Okay. Junk man. Tow two vehicles. Okay. Is that one of them? No, that's not one of them. Okay. Ooh, it, it really does not like some... Oh, so you just got to pick two? No. I'll go back to this guy right here. So let's uh, find a way to turn around. In the mud bog. Oh, wow. This thing is... Uh, no steering whatsoever, and then all the steering in the world. Okay, Austin Powers. Nice, nice. Does self correct, which is great. It's off, so why is that lit up? Alright, so we're gonna go left. Well, I guess we'll just stay on this road. Going back to the beginning of that little river thing. This thing is very slow. The steering wheel, I get it. And you can also you can also steer yourself, but that that's just that's just un uh, it's just not very good. So I'd rather just use the the steering. Yeah, I'll just use the steering on the stick because. All right, so we're just gonna tow these guys out of here, it sounds like. We are not driving them. Oh, that was close. The car I had to practice with in the tutorial was nice enough to uh, have windows so you can see out of them. <laughs> I have no idea how well lined up I am, if at all. Hold stuff up. right here. Alright, park and brake on. No, I probably need the key on. I probably need it for the winch. Alright. Oh, not bad, not bad. Not bad at all. 
actually did not even get to the uh, winch part of the tutorial, so. <laughs> All right, so we do not need, do I need to check to see if it's in parking brake and stuff? There's, oh yeah, you can't even get into it, it's fine. Okay, so. Okay, let's see if this works. Let's go slow. Yeah, I'm not sure what the the wrench icon means. Probably just that I'm doing damage to my car or vehicle, whatever this is called. Okay, well, let's see if we can do it without the diff. Can I have my hand back? Thank you. Yeah. Let's see if I can do it without the diff. So is there no road? So I'm gonna have to follow this fog road cross because I don't see any road on the other side. Let's go. I love the way the the truck tilts. I wish that ATS was a little more like this. Well, I'm surprised I couldn't get in there because that looks like the wheels are locked. I don't know, maybe it's just because the game can't handle it. Well, this will be fun, okay. Try and go as wide as possible. that. Wow, it just drags out behind like it's a toy. So the graphics are, you know, they're quest graphics, but VR has a way of almost leveling the playing field because your brain just wants to make it work. It doesn't, your brain doesn't need graphics. Some of the best games don't even have great graphics. The best games do, but some don't, and it's still doable. I am nervous that it's going to lock me in here and the truck will be in my way. Is that good enough? There we go. Alright, so this is going to be fun. I'm going to have to figure out a way to get out of here. Get this thing in my way. I think that's all it needs. I have blocked myself here now. I wouldn't be able to tow the other vehicle, right? Oh, I can get in here though. Hmm, interesting. I'm, okay. I'm interested. Oh, I came out here to turn off the truck, but it seems like it has turned itself off. Oh no, it's still on. I don't know, is it on? Can't take it. Hmm. I'm supposed to be able to take the key out. All right, well, let's try the other Jeep. I don't know if it'll work, but it's interesting. It's kind of open world, so. Okay. Uh, 
key. We got four wheel. We got all wheel drive. We got locking diff. Okay, three gears. So, I don't know if this is going to be a good thing or a bad thing to take this, but. Oh, uh, okay, wow. It'd be. There we go. There we go. Now you don't have to touch anything with your other hands. Okay, let's uh, let's try it. So leave here and go to the right, and then see if we can winch it with this vehicle. It's an automatic. That's fine. Diff is not locked. All-wheel drive is not on. This might get us there a little faster. I'm not sure if it'll uh, be able to drag anything. I'm hoping the truck will be out of the way, or maybe they expect you to do that. Oh, this is kind of fun in a Jeep. Oh, I like it in this Jeep. Seems way more... Oh, I must have somehow... Come on now. So this game is interesting. It, it, you'd think that right out there in the grass and the hard pack would be better, but it tends to be the worst. I think I'm running right. Come on, I got all wheel drive and the differential locked. I oh, love those mirrors though. I don't know if I was supposed to do this. Maybe they want you to winch your way out. We're not there yet. Didn't expect this to be so muddy. This will be kind of impossible to drive back through though, so this might be a waste of time. I don't know. I don't want to have to winch it. Nope, it definitely needs it. Let's just try all-wheel drive first. There we go, a little better. Keep going, keep going. Yeah, I swear it's worse in the grass. Oh, it's just a car. Oh, perfect, so I can winch it with the Jeep. How nice. Maybe they thought of that. Okay, so let's see. I need to know if there's a better way back because this is... <laughs> so I can go all the way back or I can try and go through the mud again mm. okay well let's try it this way first where's the winch oh is the winch on the from this jeep yeah, the winch is over here so I gotta turn it around okay okay Let's turn her around. If the winch is on the front, well, that's interesting. Huh. If the winch is on the front, how am I supposed to get it out of here? Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Guys. They want you in a sitting position, but they don't want to give you... Oh yeah, that's right. Slowest sit and stand ever. Look at it. Look how slow this is. My goodness. I don't think, yeah, you can't get in the cars. So I'm not sure. 
best way okay oh I'm trying not to do more okay there we go so we're gonna have to back out of here I think hmm okay let's see this will be interesting since I can't see Use the mirrors. Going with my back backward skills. Yeah, I can't exactly see out the back, so I am grateful for the parallax mirrors now for sure so, keep going keep going Let's get more on the center of the road here Is there really not a winch on the back of this thing? Well, I gotta know. This is crazy. No winch. No winch on the back of this thing. Oh, there is a winch on the back. Where? Oh, hi. Hide or hiding from me. Gotcha. All right. Well, that was silly. All right, no more dummy moves. Actually, I don't need to turn the car around. I just need to turn my car around. It's gonna be a heck of a lot easier to drive see where I'm going. I personally think there should be... I get it, though. I think, it, I think though, it should be easier to drive outside of the mud, but I get it. I get it. Otherwise, why would people follow the uh, road? I get it. Alright, there we go. Good old quest games, always janky. Okay. There we go. Let's get going. Can't really do anything without the differential being locked, so. Sorry, putting damage on, I guess, but it's the best I can do. Oh, did I not? So this is, of course, the free play, not the story. The story, you know, has a little bit of a, a little bit more, oh, my uncle asked me to go take care of his, et cetera, et cetera. So, and you've got voiced protagonist, it's, well, I guess main character or whatever. There we go. All right. Well, I think we're all done. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. So. Let's get this guy. Where's the fuel island? I want to fuel this bad boy up. No fuel island. All right, well, let's see how much gas it's got.
Gas is okay. Can't see very well. <laughs> well, I probably messed that up. Alright, so we'll go... This way... I think you use a lot more gas when you... ...the diff. This can chew through the mud pretty fast, that's good. Got faster to get through the river here. Pretty quick. This does not do slowing down well. Let's just either go or stop. Apparently, I'm caught on something. It must be that sign. So, there's the trailer. Uh, okay, that's interesting. Not sure why it won't show me what's up above. Well, maybe that's where you need to go in the end. Alright, um. So uh, let's find out. I think I'll try this way. Get in front of it. Whoa! <laughs> I'm a little too close to the side there. Nice to know what's up there. Okay, that's where we're taking it. Okay, good. This Mudrunner's game allows you to go off the beaten path. Sort of. Just trying to drive up a tree for some reason. I don't even think I was that close to the tree. Sis, what's that? Oh, look at that. Okay. Very cool. Don't I have to refill it though? Very cool. Go now? Hmm. Well, I can't exactly go back the way I came, so I guess I have to go all the way around, yeah? I don't think there's a turnaround spot. Go across the water and then back across the bridge. Okay. I'm not even sure it's gonna let me.
Well, that's gonna be a good question. <laughs> Jeez, that is loud. Nice. Okay. Now we gotta go right and then back over the bridge. Well, this will be fun. Trying to do this tight turn. Well, this will be fun. I don't think this is gonna work. Come on. It's fine. There we go. I cannot tell if it's getting around that corner. It'd be really nice if you could. Whoa. It'd be really nice if you could uh, see. You get out and look, I suppose. Jesus. <sighs> so one thing they can't ever seem to do right. When they make the uh, meta-exclusive games, like Assassin's Creed was so freaking janky. That's my gas. Just a little over half. There we go. Get in on it. Probably put the uh, drift lock back on. I better get out and look. I don't know. I guess we're hopeful. See, as soon as I grab it, it wants me to start pushing forward after I've already pushed forward. So then I'm too far forward and then I can't push forward. Alright, so let's make sure that's going to work. This is such a janky. See what I mean? So, this is my hand. Thank you. It's janky. Hey, what do you want for a $20 quest exclusive game, right? Okay, I... I have a very bad feeling that I lost the trailer. Oh, no. Okay, it just wasn't showing up in my rear view. Are we good? Do I have gas? No, okay. Okay, well, we're good to go. So yeah, I would definitely like to see smooth locomotion and I would like to see this fix. I mean, these are supposed to be such advanced controllers and stuff and it's like, no, that's pretty god awful. Oh, wait, so they don't tell you when they have things blocked? Oh man. Well, that's going to cause all sorts of problems. Okay. <laughs> nice of them not to tell you that. All right. So that's not what I'm seeing on my map. I'm seeing the rocks are over there. Um, oh, my God. Uh, there's too many trees. There's too many trees to uh, try to go between these. I am very, very bad at backing trailers so, up, especially when there's curves involved. Yeah, and they, uh, they intentionally put these trees out here so you couldn't. All right, so we might be done. Be nice if you knew in advance what you could expect. Okay. So, my God, this smooth look, this uh, teleport is unbelievably annoying. Okay, so can't go through. We wanted to go that way, and I guess trying to avoid going through the water meant. I had to back up. Okay, so... 
What can I do here? I'm already up against this tree, so that's a problem. So I need to turn. I am not good at this kind of thing. Okay, so... That was the wrong way, dang it. I'm gonna just. And there's just no way to get through these trees, I imagine. Yeah. Well, I messed up. It's probably done. Probably not gonna keep going. We'll see how forgiving this game is. <laughs> Okay. That was so aggravating. Okay, so I can back up some more. Uh, well, I just need to straighten out a little bit. is, folks. I don't like this game. Man, I wish I could just back it up. I'm just right up into that tree. Alright, so I guess I can go forward and left and then try and back up, but I don't know. I'm pretty much ready to just call it on this one. That's right, you can graze a button if you think she pushed it. Okay. So... I'm just guessing at this point. I have no idea what to do. I have absolutely zero clue on how to handle this situation. Oh, I like clipping now. Alright. You know, they put all those tree stumps in there on purpose to make sure you can't cut through. Because, you know, that's how it works in real life. Oh. Yeah. That's cool. Alright. Well, not exactly great experience, but there you go. So that's how it looks, that's how it behaves, and that is how you can easily screw up. So, here you go. It's a beautiful little garage. I don't know if you can move around. No, you can't. All right, well, there you go. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more, do let me know. I will try and have a better outcome than that. <laughs> All right, thank you.